So to do this, to do a problem like this, we need to use Heron's formula. So what you're going to do in this case, Josh, is you're simply going to, Heron's formula is going to tell you the area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2. Okay? b would be divided by 2. Yep. So in this case, we can just do 4 plus 5 plus 8 divided by 2. And you can see that's not going to be a nice number, is it? 17 halves, which is equivalent to 8.5. Okay. Now, you could type this all into your calculator as long as you're using parentheses. But what do I notice? Well, what happens when students do this? They make a mistake with their parentheses, and then they get the whole problem wrong. So my recommendation, guys, would just be to, this isn't that bad of math, just subtract the 8.5 from A, which is 5, like just do this outside of, I'm writing it in there so you guys can see what it is, but um, I would not type that into your calculator. This isn't that bad of mathematics. Square root 8.5, and then you're gonna do times, no, it's 8.5, times five, which is 3.5, times 0.5, times, 4.5. Now, that's much easier for me to type in my calculator, right? So now I'll go to my calculator, and I'll just do the square root of 8.5 times 3.5 times 0.5 times 4.5. I don't have to worry about parentheses. I've done all of this. I'm good, right? And then... I approximate my answer to 8.182. And then obviously, just a reminder, I'm not using feet or minutes or anything. But just a reminder, if I was doing, um, just a reminder, if I was uh, doing feet, I'd write my answers feet squared. Meters, I'd write my answers meters squared. 